G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, quite often I'll be doing jobs and all of a sudden I think, oh, this is something that maybe the viewers will be interested in looking at. So I've, in this case, I've just started parting off this big block of uh, home cast aluminium. Another one I did. Turned out fantastic. I mean, look at the finish. I mean, it's just it's as good as the stuff you'd buy. And it's a big lump. And I... I have to part it off. Now to part off something that diameter with a small parting off blade is asking a bit much. So years ago I made up a super duper heavy uh, parting off blade to, and a four way tool post. It's actually the base for my well down well uh, tool post grinder, the full size um, grinder I've got for the lathe and uh, it sets a, the height on centre line and when I made it I thought well I might as well make it do more than just be the base for the tool post grinder so I made a four way it was actually two way it's not a four way it's a two way slot each side and then I incorporated a, uh, a heavy parting off blade into it for just for jobs like this where basically otherwise you'd have to try and do it with a you know, hacks or something. So, yeah, this works quite well. And in this case, I got the lathe on the slowest speed. And yeah, I'll come a bit closer, give a bit of a look. You can see it's a very simple arrangement, and it just clamps the blade down from the top, and also locks it in from the side, so it's really rigidly mounted. And you can easily slide the blade in or out as you want to. And the blade is a big thick one. You'll notice that I've got the job supported. If you're going to do palming off, you want to definitely support the work, otherwise bad things can happen. Now, I'm just not going to, going to quite get in with that length blade and the tool post as far back as it can go. So what I can do is just slide the blade in deeper and uh, lock it up and then just finish it off. I'm only just going to have enough blade to go to the full depth. It's quite a big diameter piece this.
gedaan. Even een kwebje. Wat ben je? So that's how I do it. Any difficult parting, this is foolproof way of doing it. Here's a closer look at the profile and it's straightforward. Got the normal amount of front relief. You notice I've grounded at 90 degrees to the sides. You can grind them back on an angle and supposedly it gives a more of a slicing action but I found that to be really a negative step. All you're doing is actually lengthening the, the width of the, of the cutting face. You know, by coming back on an angle, you're just basically increasing the cutting area by probably up to 50%. So I don't see how that's going to really do a better job. It's going to do a worse job, in my opinion. I've tried it. I didn't like it. It'll also tend to pull the, the painting off blade off on an angle or, or push it off on an angle, I should say. So you finish up with a concave or a tapered face, depending on how you set up the... Uh, uh, the blade anyway you do what you think is best that's how I do it and uh, yeah it works for me ok uh, what else not much else except to say that this whole unit basically just uses the existing mounting positions mounting bolts for the normal t uh, tool post and uh, you know yeah nothing to it really Okay, well I hope you got something out of it. Must be time for lunch. See you next time. Cheers.